Gonna have about three minutes each. Yeah. What you're gonna do is start the halfway line, and you've got to attack the opposition. When you've used up your six touches, or you've dropped the ball, or you score, you come back to the halfway and you attack that score line again. Okay. So you've got three minutes. Now, what we want you to do is drive the ball up the pitch as fast as you can. That means you take the touch, you make the touch first, you put the ball down where you touched. A lot of people, B, can you come out a second? A lot of people are carrying the ball, running up, making the touch, going, stopping, coming back, playing the roll ball. They're already then five feet and they're coming come up. Straight away. Yeah. Right? Don't run flat out. You're not trying to run round the opposition, okay? So you run up, touch, ball down, get out of the way, play it, move forward. Move forward because you don't have to uh, move sideways. You're not going to get the ball on this one, okay? Do you want the game? How you all talk to each other, okay? I want to see you all talking to each other. You go out, you go out, you go out. I want to hear that, okay? I also want to see how you all take the four touches and keep passing the ball left to right, okay? No fancy work, no ball under the legs. Don't do what I do, okay? All right? Do everything which is technical and correct, okay? Talk to each other. You can see your try lines. Whoever scores, that team goes out, the other team comes in. Ready? Okay, just go back 14 steps. Here. Yeah, yeah. 
Firstly, uh, again, thank you so much, RDX Media, for covering this. Uh, uh, we're very grateful that everything's being uh, documented. Uh, we had two selections: uh, one which was done a couple of weeks earlier from the schools, and the second selection now is from the senior team. Uh, both the teams that are being selected are joining each other for the Goa camp, and they'll prepare for the next two weeks. And uh, once they're ready, they will be facing uh, UAE, uh, or rather the Middle East uh, Touch team, in an international friendly at Fatoda Stadium. Uh, you've seen what we've done. Uh, you've seen the efforts that the Goa team's putting in. It's a great moment because the team we'll be facing is the team that played the World Cup this year in Australia. And we need your support uh, to come out in big numbers to support us at Fatoda Stadium, just the way you've been supporting Goa and other sports. Uh, please be a part of us. We're working very, very hard. We're giving our heart into this. We're giving our mind into this. We're giving our love into this. Please come. We want to see you there. Goa, I'm chair forever. But we need you all to complete us. We are very excited right now to get selected for the Goa team because we are playing versus the World Cup team that's coming down on 26th and playing against us on 27th. Uh, all of us are giving our best right now for the selections, but the best will be selected, the best of best in Goa. And I'm confident enough I'll get through. The motivation for me to play against them is because they are a World Cup team, and this is the first time it's happening in Goa. And we are looking forward to send them back with a loss. I'm pretty confident getting into the team because I'm well versed with the rules and stuff. But again, we have excellent talent over here, so it's a fight for you to make your position into the team. So let's see how it goes on now. And I'm very excited to play against UAE and defeat them. So go armchair. Thank you. Final selection. Okay. I think there was about 55 people coming today. Okay, so half of you are not going to make the selection next Saturday. Don't be disheartened by that. Doesn't mean we don't think you're any good, because I think you're great. Otherwise, we'd yeah? have dropped you this you week. You wouldn't be here. <laughs> everybody here can play. Not everybody here is going to get selected. Okay? That's going to be down to me, B, and Anish next Saturday. It's going to be hard, but we're going to have to do it. The guys and the girls who are not selected, don't be disheartened. Still there for the Nationals, still there for next year, still there for the World Cup. Yeah, 2019 is what we're really aiming at, the World Cup. Okay? So make our life hard, make it even harder. Be as good as you can and next week. If you don't week. get selected for the next five years, there's a senior scheme also of old people where I'll be playing, so you all can come and join that team also, right? So don't worry. Okay, well the idea today was uh, to look at how good uh, the players we've got to choose from are. Uh, the original idea was actually to start selection today and drop out maybe 10 or 20 guys from today but they were all so close to each other so good that we decided we need another week to look at them give them a bit more coaching and then we're gonna really bite the bullet next Saturday and make selection we're gonna have to cut this squad down to about half the size they are now which is going to be a bit disappointing for some of them, but um, I hope they can take it. We, uh, we really need the best players. And that's what we're looking for. They're really the best of the best. 
Oh, they, what we're asking them for at the moment is 100% effort. Uh, 150%. As, uh, <laughs> okay. as time goes on, next week it'll be 110%, the week after 120%. By the time they get to foot order, we'll need 150% to beat this UAE team who have already played in the World Cup last year. They, they're going to be a really, really strong team. And for us to uh, have any chance and really scare the living daylights out of them, we've got to have 150%. So we need 100% uh, commitment, 150% effort. That's what we're looking for. Okay.